Emma Cornell, once the glamorous queen of the Sinaloa cartel and wife of El Chapo Guzman, was recently released from a U.S. prison. But as she steps into a free world, one question looms. Can she escape the chilling legacy of El Chapo? Or is this just the beginning of a new cartel chapter? Stay tuned, because you're about to find out soon. Emma Cornell, known as the wife of the infamous Mexican kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, has finally walked free from a U.S. jail. She had admitted her involvement in drug trafficking and initially faced a three-year prison sentence, which was later shortened. The Federal Bureau of Prisons has now confirmed her release. This 34-year-old woman left a halfway house in California, where she has been transferred from a federal prison back in June. Meanwhile, her husband, El Chapo, is locked away serving a life sentence in a maximum security facility in Colorado. In a surprising turn of events, just last month, El Chapo Guzman penned a heartfelt handwritten letter expressing his desire to have his wife and their two daughters visit him in the high-security prison. The now 66-year-old Chapo was convicted in 2019 for his role in leading the notorious Sinaloa cartel. This international criminal organization, headquartered in Mexico, is believed to have smuggled over a thousand tons of various illegal substances like cocaine, marijuana, methamphetamines, and heroin into the United States. To maintain its power, the cartel's enforcers committed gruesome acts, including kidnappings, torture, and murder against rival gangs. The Sinaloa cartel's influence extended to corrupting law enforcement and politicians, both in Mexico and across Central America. They bribed police officers and high-ranking officials to ignore their drug shipments or even provide advance notice of impending raids. Emma Cornell's connection with Guzman traces back to her teenage years when she was just 17 and participated in a local beauty pageant. Her father, Ines Cornell, held a significant position within the Sinaloa cartel but is currently serving a 10-year sentence in Mexico for drug smuggling. El Chapo Guzman operated the cartel from various secret locations in northern Mexico after his audacious escape from prison in a laundry cart back in 2001. The details of their relationship are somewhat unclear, with uncertainty surrounding whether their marriage was ever officially registered with Mexican authorities. Notably, Cornell, who possesses dual U.S.-Mexican nationality, made a significant move in 2011 when she traveled to California to give birth to the couple's twin daughters. This decision ensured that their children would have U.S. citizenship. Back in 2014, a dramatic turn of events unfolded when Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was finally captured after evading authorities for a staggering 13 years. He found himself behind bars at the Altiplano Maximum Security Prison in Mexico, seemingly ending his notorious career but Guzman was far from ready to give up. In a mind-boggling escape just 17 months later, he pulled off an audacious jailbreak, using an underground tunnel equipped with air vents and even a rail-mounted motorcycle, leading from his cell straight to a nearby warehouse. This daring escape was like something out of a Hollywood movie. As the trial proceeded, prosecutors revealed a surprising twist. Guzman's wife, Emma Cornell was accused of playing a pivotal role in orchestrating his escape. But her involvement didn't stop there. She was alleged to have served as a crucial messenger for her husband, passing on orders to his cartel associates and even his children from previous marriages, known as the Chapitos. Following his tunnel escape, Guzman managed to stay on the run for six more months, defying capture until Mexican special forces finally apprehended him in Los Mochis in Sinaloa. The gripping saga didn't end there, as Guzman was later extradited to the United States and put on trial in New York. Throughout the trial, Emma Cornell was a constant presence in the Brooklyn courtroom, always immaculately dressed and poised. Despite the chilling testimonies about her husband's crimes, she stood by him, portraying him as an excellent father, friend, and partner. 
The climax came in February 2019 when Guzman was found guilty, and the couple exchanged a triumphant thumbs-up gesture in the courtroom. But Emma Cornell remained free for nearly two more years, until her arrest at Dulles Airport near Washington, D.C. in February 2021. Prosecutors argued that she was well aware of her husband's criminal empire and the vast reach of the Sinaloa cartel's drug trade. Cornell ultimately pleaded guilty to charges of drug trafficking and money laundering. During her sentencing, she made an emotional plea for leniency, expressing her desire to be there for her children. Her sentence initially amounted to three years, but was later reduced, leading to her release. As she faces an uncertain future, one clue emerges from the letter penned by Guzman himself. In the letter, he expressed the hope that his wife would be allowed to visit him in Colorado. Their two daughters, now 12 years old, are studying in Mexico and can only see their father a few times a year during holidays, creating a poignant story of a family torn by their entangled fates. But, do you believe Emma Cornell's release could pose a risk to public safety due to her association with the Sinaloa cartel? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't miss out on giving us a thumbs up and staying connected for more exciting content.